Jake Vickers is the son of the superintendent, uh, Robert Vickers. And his sort of story is that, you know, it's his first day on the job. That's where the series opens. And he's a young sort of rookie cop, still in his last sort of phases of training. Um, and he kind of goes into the job, you know, I think he's quite cockshot, quite arrogant, and he thinks it's going to be this easy ride and he's going to be great at it. His dad was great at it. And I think he quickly learns um, that's not the case. Um, and I think it, I, I kind of felt the same um, when I approached it because it was my first job and I, I kind of went in. Not, not, not maybe quite as arrogant <laughs> as Jake, but um, you know, I, was, I kind of felt like a massive rookie. Um, and his sort of arc is that, you know, I think he, throughout the series, he kind of there's a level of respect that he that he kind of learns, and he kind of becomes a man throughout the process and through Ashley's guidance and that relationship. Um, and he really has to prove himself to to the rest of the response team and and the CID because because of his dad's the boss and he's kind of jumped rank and there's a bit of, you know, people got a thorn in their side about him, stigma about him. He sees quite a lot of action. We see him mm. running around a lot. We see him throw a mean punch. Yeah. Uh, how were those um, scenes to film? Yeah, like so much. I mean, those, those are the scenes you kind of look forward to. I think kind of going, oh, you're doing a cop drama. You know, you look forward to the car chases and the action. There's a lot of running, a lot of punching, a lot of, a lot of me and Ash in the car. You know, stunt. I mean, the first the first stunt we did actually it was the, the first take of the series um, was a stunt, um, and I was kind of get, getting all ready for it, and I was kind of getting the car, and I was getting into a cop zone, and I was like, acting, you know, trying to get a bit, nail it. And um, as a stunt driver, wasn't Ash? Um, and the plan was we were just going to go down this country lane and you know do a skid into this uh, in this other lane. We rush into a scene. Someone jumps in front of the car, stops, and that's it. Go down, right, action, so we're all getting ready. Um, coming down, I think I might have said, so, well, something happened, and we took the wrong turn, slid and crashed the car, and um, and I got to go home. So that was that was the first, so, you know, it, it's ups and downs, but even those bits, yeah, it's, quite, it's quite exciting, yeah. And his personal life, obviously, he's out and gay, and that's yeah. no issue to him whatsoever. Yeah. And we do see him sort of flirting with a few people as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, what, how, do we explore more about that side? Yeah, of, his of life? course. I mean, yeah. I mean, think relationships are, are, are you know, sort of key points in all the characters' um, journeys. And you know, my relationship with, um, you know, see, you see sort of hints of it in the first episode, um, and that relationship with the, with the, the older lawyer Andrew uh, does develop, and we get to see more of, of his personal side and uh, sort of his love life. And it's quite interesting to see, you know, what we were talking about earlier in, in terms of how your personal life uh, it affects your professional life. And, you know, it happens in a huge capacity within something so high pressured. And because he's a lawyer, you know, there's that politics, that's all going on. So, the duty solicitor. He's the duty solicitor, exactly. So, so um, yeah, I, can't, I don't want to give too much away, but that, that dynamic and that, the, the politics of that relationship is quite interesting. We see them out. Uh, socialising in clubs and things like that. We've seen some yeah. clips, so the, that you see that side of his life as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think you know, uh, if you've only seen the first episode, I think because the responsibility of the first episode is you know you set up the, the series and you have to introduce you know, the station and, the, and all the different characters. Whereas as the series goes on, it delves a lot deeper into each individual's personal life. So those club scenes or what we get on, to, you know, get up to in our personal lives is is a massive part of the series, yeah. There's a lot of scenes of you in the shower as well. Yeah, I mean, maybe not enough. Um, no, <laughs> I remember, I remember I, got the, I got the first two episodes and um, there was a shower scene at the end of the first episode and there was a shower scene at the end of the second episode. And I kind of thought, oh, maybe, maybe this is like a running you know, theme. It's like, you know, those uh, programmes that they give you a lesson at the end, you know, what we've learned. Or kind of like how I met your mother, they have like a, like a morality lesson at, at the end of every episode. I thought just we'd finish all of ours uh, with me in the shower. But it, it didn't happen like that.